It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Hey, hey, it's a beautiful day. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and like and share with friends and family before we start this video. Also, I'm at Disney Hollow Studios, as you can tell, the Tower of Terror right there. Today, I'm going to show you how big are the crowds, which there's no crowds, how big are the crowds, the wait times in the park, how hot is it exactly, and uh, yeah, the atmosphere of the park of this COVID-19 and everything. So, I'm going to show you that today let's go disney junior character party parade thing <laughs> cowboy case there are all the cast members fancy nancy there is doc mcstuffins and there is vampirina look at her car vampirina is my favorite right there okay guys just to give you the crowds it is early in the morning it is like 11 something so the park opened an hour ago and here is the socially distance line for star tours that is 20 minutes so and it goes to the Ewok village as well. So with these type of videos, I am not good at them, but I'm trying my best guys. I'm kind of new to this um, going around and showing you guys wait times and stuff because I'm just used to, you know, being here with my family and they're not next to me at all. So like I'm like kind of, you know, in fear, afraid to vlog by myself, but I have to do it one day. Right. So right now we're walking to Muppet Village to see how many um, the wait time for that. And then we're going to walk to Galaxy's Edge. Okay, so the wait time for Muppet Vision is 10 minutes. There's nobody there. That means it's a walk-on. It is a show that lasts about 10 to 15 minutes. But it is funny. If you guys have not seen Muppet Vision, you have to see it, at least for your first time here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. But 10 minutes is not a bad. And for those of you maybe in the comments asking where I got my shirt at, it was at Disney Springs World of Disney. They have Pluto ones, but this is Huey, Dewey, and Louie because I'm at Hollywood Studios, so I have to wear Huey, Dewey, and Louie. But yeah. I got this at Disney Springs at World of Disney. So walking into Galaxy's Edge right now, this is where the standby wait, if you have a virtual queue line for the group that opens at 10 and one at 2 p.m., you stay right here in the socially distanced line and wait for your group. Now, if it's a group that's far away, they won't call you, but when they call you and there's a line here, possibly there's no line sometimes and there's a line sometimes. So it depends when your boarding group is called. So I did not get a boarding group for this yet, but we haven't even ridden this yet. My family and I have not ridden this yet. So we're going to ride it soon, but I don't feel like coming at 10 AM because that's when the crowds really to pick up at 10. When you wait in the afternoon to come to Hollywood Studios, I think that is the best time to come way in the afternoon around three or four. So I think that is the best um, time to come to Disney's Hollywood Studios or any of the theme parks so you can avoid the morning crowds. And I'm gonna stop for a moment here to take this and look at the way the smoke is coming out of that ship. It looks so, so real right now. And then the rock work. You have to just take um, Galaxy's Edge and just don't walk past by it. You have to enjoy Galaxy's Edge from what it is. The theming and everything, the noises, they have, everything's awesome. I love it. So right now we're gonna go to Smuggler's Run and check the wait time on that. Now I was just walking from Rise of Resistance that's over there and I'm walking here and it does look like I'm in the middle of nowhere. Even though I know Toy Story Land is like right there, but it looks like I'm in the middle of nowhere. You hear bee, like some type of insects and something like that. But the way they did those hills that's going up, it looks like you're in the middle of nowhere. I love that Disney, great job with the theming. Do you guys remember when we thought, quote unquote thought we can walk through this bridge, but we can't. <laughs> We thought when we were doing the construction before it was opening, everybody thought that this would be a walking bridge that we can actually walk on, but it's not. It's just for theming. We cannot walk that bridge. <laughs> okay, guys, I know you guys saw this in the other vlog, but there's Chewy. They're in his element. He's right there just chilling, just waiting for something. I don't know. Maybe it's his day off. That's what, oh, he's looking at me. Oh, no. Sorry, Chewy. I didn't mean it was your day off. Just waving at people today. Now this view does never get old. These rocks really look like they are a hundred feet tall right now to me. The theming, the <laughs> you're immersed in Star Wars land. Wow, this is awesome. Even though I've been here one time, but I've only seen the Millennium Falcon one time and that was in September and I'm seeing it again today. So it's awesome. That's how long I have not, I've been at Disney, but I don't take the time to look at stuff like this. So I'm taking the time today to look at all the theming and everything. I love this. So here's the wait time for Smuggler's Run it is over here. That's the lines back there, but that's the inside already. So you start over here and the line right now, it is 40 minutes, socially distanced, 40 minutes. So yeah, that's what everybody's at right now. Smuggler's Run. Here's Smuggler's Run, 40 minutes. I just want to let you guys know, here are the crowds. Now, if you guys feel comfortable in this, then you guys obviously can come if you guys feel comfortable but if you don't then don't come and sometimes being in, squeezed into a tight crowd um you know you don't have to come 
okay? But if you guys feel comfortable with this, you can come. No issue. I just wanted to say that and point because a lot of people come here with the intention that it's going to be very, very, very empty. It is empty. 40 minutes for Smuggler's Run is not bad. And 10 minutes, uh, 20 minutes for Star Tours is not bad. It's just the line has to be social distance, okay? But the crowds are going to be a little bit there. It's not going to disappear like this. So, it, but it is empty. Like Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Animal Kingdom is a very empty part. Hollywood Studios will be more because there's two new rides, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway and Rides of Resistance. So that's why it's kind of packed here at these Hollywood Studios. And plus it's a Saturday, so it's going to be packed today. So we went our way from Smuggler's Run. August Cantina is back open, okay? August Cantina is open. You just need a dining reservation check-in. So you do have to have a dining reservation before you enter August Cantina. It's like basically mobile ordering through your My Disney Experience app. Now, blue milk and green milk is still available. No, you cannot mix blue milk and green milk. They won't do it for you, but if you want to do it, you gotta buy both and then mix them. But anyways, it's open. And they do have Kylo Ren up here sometimes and the two stormtroopers with Kylo Ren here. So you can't do, you can't do a meet and greet with them, but you can still see him up on stage with Kylo's ship. That's Kylo's ship. You guys didn't know that. Okay guys, we are entering Toy Story Land from Batu. We made it back to Earth, Andy's backyard. Um, right now, the standby wait for Alien Swirling Saucers is 15 minutes. Social distance, it's not bad for 15 minutes, but you will stand out here in the sun. But 15 minutes, not bad. And there is Buzz, and Buzz, oh there he is, he's speaking right now. Human blocks of plastic locals call this. Yeah. Just to let you guys know, Alien Swilling Saucers right now is 15 minutes. I, I bet you, if you come here around 3 p.m., okay, 3 p.m. in the afternoon with your park reservation, this will be at a five minute wait and it's just a walk on. I'm telling you. Slinky Dog might not be like that because it is Slinky Dog and all that and Mickey Minnie's run over railway won't be like that, but it'll be shorter than it is right now because the park has only been open for two to three hours. So it's still gonna be kind of packed. Slinky Dog Dash is at a 50 minute wait. So the line is in the queue right here, but you gotta wait outside with these umbrellas all the way over there. So Slinky Dog right now is at a 50 minute wait. Okay guys, right now I'm gonna go find somewhere um, where I can sit and take off my mask because I need water. I'm gonna go get a venti um, ice water from Starbucks. They, that's free, so you can just go in there and ask them that. So I'm gonna do that right now because I need to sit down and hydrate. I'm sweating, I'm getting a little tired, and, uh, and it's very hot, so I need water. Very important to hydrate. All right, Toy Story Mania is at a 25 minute wait. Not bad, but the queue is socially distanced, so it looks like it's got this long, but it's not long, guys. It's not long. 25 minutes will be like 15 minutes. And before anything, uh, before I even go in front of the Chinese theater, I think this is mostly an hour wait for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. These people are in the sun. I think Disney should put more umbrellas over here to uh, make people, like these umbrellas, they should add more over here. But uh, yeah, that is a lot of people and a lot of people are exiting the line because it's so, so long. Minnie and Pluto! And Mickey! Look at them! Hi, Mickey! <laughs> right now, I'm on Sunset Boulevard and heading to Tower of Terror and Rock and Roller Coaster. But right now, I am basically going to find some water because Starbucks is packed. It looks packed in there. And it's because I'm not afraid of crowds or anything. I'm not, I'm not like that. I'm just saying it's just it's right now it's too packed and for me to wait like i want water right now like i need a bottle in my hand right now so i'm gonna go find some water with my hairs everywhere <laughs> i'm gonna find some water i don't know where but it looks like everywhere you're trying to find water is packed so i don't know so i might just wait in the starbucks line because it's in, in the shade anyways you know what let's do it you see how this vlog just turned around I'm telling you not perfect okay guys so star wars launch bay is now a relaxation zone where you can take off your mask and sit there in the ac and i got my venti water from starbucks it was free because you can ask for it, just a venti water. And uh, I'm going in there inside the AC to relax. So guys, here's the relaxation zone in Star Wars Launch Bay. It's quiet, so you have to stay in the red markers, like the red little bubbles for each party. I have one here, here. I just sat down and drank my water, and now I'm good. You're allowed to take off your mask when you're sitting down in these little things. And then when you're walking around, you can basically, you have to wear your mask, so. There's the exit, and BB-8's not meeting, no. The relaxation zone is really, really nice. You enter 
over here that is the entrance and then it's just a little hall sometimes you're sitting on a bench and if the bench is taken they still have little red dots where you can sit on the ground the ground is comfortable and you lay down in a wall or something like that drink your water i got a venti um iced water at starbucks and then came in here relaxed for like 15 minutes took off my mask breathing with my own you know what i'm supposed to do and um with cold water ac hydrate so i suggest if you guys are going to the parks all day stop here for like 15 to 20 or 25 minutes here just to um drink water hydrate eat whatever you have in your bag or whatever food you're bringing here and just relax with your family or yourself and just have ac because pretty much is like 92 degrees out and it probably feels like 100 so it really is hot today so i take advantage of the relaxation zone and uh yeah so star wars launch bay is one and i suggest it so yeah and the di in the my disney experience app it does say that um disney junior dance party is temporarily unavailable and right now it is available people were walking in and it's open now and um they have signs open and the music is running so fast pass isn't available but um standby is so yes you can now go into the disney junior dance party that's awesome stopping by here because uh this man created it disney his disney so i love walking by here looking at pictures and looking at stuff and looking at the history of disney so that's what i like to do guys look how freaky these plushes look mickey and minnie pluto and minnie over here but back in the day that's what they used to do so one man's dream you can still watch the film they have the seats socially distanced but you can still watch the film walk in there and watch and be part of walt disney's history and stuff so yeah you can still watch the film and everything i just walked out because i saw the film so many times and i'm gonna go back to toy story night because it looks even empty and i'm gonna show you the ads right now and right now it's about one o'clock so um 11 and one o'clock let's see the difference walking into toy story night is already a lot different there's still a photo pass for woody right there but it is a lot different and i say this i say this every vlog but yeah it's uh it's different it was kind of packed when we're exiting into galaxy's edge this right here is a ship that crashed okay a site that crashed and dj rex rex used to be in star tours he used to be the pilot in star tours when star tours opened here and mgm which is now disney hollywood studios but right now this is his ship he crashed and now he's a dj in the cantina over there so that's his ship he wasn't a good driver anyways that's why he's not in star tours anymore now he's a great dj so good job rick so i'm here waiting to see if kylo and the stormtroopers will come out right now it's 12 50 something like one o'clock basically but i don't know if it's going to come out so i'm going to wait a little bit to see if i can get them for you guys they're usually up here but they don't wander in galaxy's edge anymore because of the social distancing so we, i'm just going to wait for a few minutes to see if the stormtroopers and kylo ren comes out i have no idea finally is your allegiance with the first order yes yes good much less trouble for both of us <laughs> look how empty this was before before the stormtroopers now look how packed it is when the stormtroopers are out i imagine when kylo ren comes out if he does it's gonna be more packed but they have um marked those little red things they're all over here so you have to stay on them with your party one party at the red dot so people are socially distanced and people are following it so it's pretty cool it's member leaders that were just standing right here two of them over here and they were trying to make sure that everybody was on the red circle they were trying to make sure that the show the stormtroopers were okay and they were inter um, um interacting with the guests so that's pretty cool how disney um behind the scenes looks at stuff and talks to um people like uh, not ahead of them but up there as a cast member role for disney and um they're you know they want to make everything better so they probably want to make the more um spacing better or more like of the stormtroopers here i don't know but um disney is doing a great job with that and i love that so if you guys remember at the beginning of the video remember this was 40 minutes and the line was out here now the line is 45 minutes and it's in there so you see it's all about social distancing that's it it's not as long so if you think it's out here it could be shorter and if it's in there it could be longer so you never know so if you just want to ride the ride go ride it. if it's your first time or you just want to ride it so yeah the wait times did lower just a bit just a bit but because it's saturday it's going to be higher but if you come in a weekday like tuesdays wednesdays and thursdays i think those three days throughout the week is the best time to come to studios 
in the afternoon, you don't have to wait for Smuggler's Run for 45 minutes. Because last, uh, two weeks ago, we were in Smuggler's Run, and my parents waited at least 15 minutes, and that's when I was 45, and it's like gonna be two o'clock. So today is Saturday, so I don't think coming in the afternoon makes a difference on Saturdays, but I think Tuesday through Thursday will make a difference if you come way in the afternoon and have a better time here at studios. But if you guys want vlogging tips, that's how vlogging is. Sometimes you don't know, and some vloggers edit it out. I don't know if I'm gonna edit that out. I think that's the nature of vlogging. You're gonna, you have to find what you're looking for at the parks. Like, you're not gonna vlog every single day. Like, today I just walked up, what am I gonna vlog today at Hollywood Studios? And I can't do the same thing. So is it wait times or history of MGM Studios? I was Hollywood Studios. I have all these ideas in my mind that I wanna shoot for you guys to shoot videos from. But, you know, you come to the same park and it is hard to create ideas. But once you come here, take pictures, walk around, you create a vlogging idea and that's how you start vlogging. So, and it is scary because you're talking to yourself basically on camera and people don't know that and people still look at you weird. So it is kind of weird to me, but that's the point of vlogging and that's what, and that's how I choose to live. <laughs> okay guys, so the two masks that I got is Baby Yoda um, on the large. They finally have the large and then I have the Mickey one in the large. So they didn't have Forky, which I wanted Forky. That's sold out. So I have to keep on checking probably Disney Springs or something like that. But I gotta keep on checking different parks. But they didn't have Forky, but they had Baby Yoda. They had the Mickey one in my size. And it's so hard to find large and extra large. So large does fit me. I just have to, you know, like stretch a little bit, but then it'll fit me around the ears. So because it doesn't make any sense to me right now to wear um, Baby Yoda, I think I'm just gonna go with Mickey right now because it matches more. So I'm just gonna wear Mickey right now. So I'm gonna save Baby Yoda for another time, probably tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna wear Mickey right now. Three, two, one. And just like that, I got my Mickey mask right there. Extra magic for you guys. It fits good. I just had to stretch these loops, these ear loops a little bit, but it fits good. So got the Mickey mask on. Now there's my first Disney mask of the trip. <laughs> So here it is guys, um, the Brown Derby um, ball area was not open with Hollywood Studios, now it is back open. And Ron, give a shout out to Ron, Ron is the best one here at Hollywood Studios for serving your, um, your beer or your whiskey or margarita, whatever you want, he is the best. And when my parents come, we're going to get some Ron right now. So they're coming and we're going to um, see Ron in the Brown Derby. So I'm taking advantage of sitting down waiting for my parents. They're on the Skyliner, they're on their way. My mom does not like the Skyliner, you guys saw that vlog. But uh, I'm sitting down here. The Disney mask is a little, I see a little uncomfortable, but I gotta get used to it. I'm gonna test it out through this video and stuff. But um, the Target one is for me way better, but it doesn't have the graphics, you know? L look at the graphics and everything on it, you know? But anyways, chilling uh, beyond the tree, uh, underneath the trees, perfect, perfect because that's what I need. It's so, so hot today. Really, really hot. Look guys, Mr. and Mrs. Incredible. Mr. Incredible. <laughs> yeah, Sally. Woo. <laughs> Man, how are you doing? Jesse. <laughs> oh. Mom. The girls! They're here! They're for the parade! Oh, no. <laughs> Mom, that's Dale. Yeah. Hi, Chip! <laughs> Pluto! <laughs> Team Mouse! Oh my god. I'll give you guys some information, some info. Adrian and I didn't have even on this ride yet. My parents and sisters have, but Adrian and I haven't. We're gonna be the pilots. I don't know if we're gonna be up and down, right or left, but we're gonna be the pilots. I'm not gonna record, I'm just gonna tell you my review about the ride and if I like it or not. Hondo, guys. Hey, we can't stop, but there's Hondo. Hello, 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 hello. Hey, hello. Hey, go. Wow, the theming is it's like, wow. Like, even the ground, like when you step on it, it's like an airport. There's a Millennium Falcon. We're in it. Wow. 
What do you mean system failure? <laughs> well, that's what you mean by system failure. It's hidden Mickey. It's not hidden Mickey. I think so. I don't know. Let me finish mine. No! What, ha what happened to you? <laughs> Are you scared? Oh no, it's fake! I'm, I'm sorry! We're good, I'm sorry! No, we're good! Oh my god. Millennium Falcon was a great ride. We did good for our first time pilots. So we didn't um we didn't damage anything, so it was a good ride. We didn't even have to stop at the end of your damage. Yeah, we didn't do it. We didn't have that. We didn't do it. That means we did a great job. So good job, Adrian and I are for the pilots, and I did light speed. I mean, well, no. I was engineer. I got eighty-five percent. Yeah, we did a good job. All right, guys, we are leaving Hollywood Studios. It was a great day. Very packed in the morning, but great day. It was a long day. I'm really sweating. Uh, we just ate a snack over here right next to Tower of Terror. So, and then we can make it to our dinner reservation, which is going to be Planet Hollywood. We're going to go to Disney Springs, check out some merch, check out how Disney Springs is going. So that's the next clip you're going to see probably, Disney Springs. So, goodbye Hollywood Studios, and off to Disney Springs. Okay guys, I'm outside of my room, and this is my view. That's the pool area over there, the quiet pool, and um, there is the rainstorm heading our way. I don't know if we're going to go to Disney Springs or not because that's a big rainstorm and Disney Springs is over there. And the camera's fogging up because of the humidity in Florida, but it is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful storm. Excuse me. Oh my god! Like one of your friends goes, Dad. Hi. What's wrong with Dad? We're here at Hollywood Studios. Look, it's wonderful. <laughs> you call.